touch the frisbee? Yes, sir. Oh, you want me to pick it up? Oh, my goodness. Uh huh. <laughs> so, is that she can get them in the pack? No. Yeah, one of the things we see right there is hey. how she's jumping for it no. and taking it. <laughs> yeah. So, we need to teach a little etiquette. Shake is drop. Now, all of a sudden, I've got it, and I'm going to set it and drive. Gear forward. And I'm going to bump that dog if it gets in my way. All right, this athletic critter. Good. Cannot bang up off of the handler, nor at this age can it jump up and take it from us, nor with a child do we want this dog to just read and react and try to take. All right, so the way that we're going to use our obedience to combat a free-for-all where the dog dictates the pace of the game is to control the ebb and flow. She who holds the object or the ball and dictates pace of play generally will win. So we start to see the dog crossing over the vision of the handler. Good. To get the attention. Let's go. The object of attraction. Just trying to move her right so as that she will feel a member of the pack. Then I need to take the object of attraction and I've got to establish a line. And I've got to move forward with the object, and I have to turn in front of the dog. Good. And she's going to start to push, and I'm going to hold that line. Now walk her, good, into a decision. Split. Good. Or go with. On the go with, Woo we're going to give reward. Lesson number one, don't allow the dog to dictate pace again. So now, she's co-opted Keith and Keith's going to grab the object, knowing she's going to try to take it. He's ready. No. Excellent. And then off we go. If she can't pick on Keith, she goes back to her handler. And now, we can begin the process of learning. Woo, that's it. Good job. Woo My goal is to get two more just like that off the left side with the dog wrapping around, anticipating flight. Good girl! Woo-wee! Look at Katie go! Look at Katie go! No worries. Recital effect. I love how Keith's so pro. Good. And then down the line. Have to make sure it's down the line if she goes forward first. Good. Reason being is is I have to, good, anticipate the dog crossing, good, and making them etiquette mistakes, good, that a pro might incorporate into the routine. So the first step of that is the object of attraction and the line forward, see how she crosses it? She's trying to prove that she can, all right? At some point, athletically, I have to show her that she can't. There, 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 all the way down. Check cord, correct, but the dog's got to stop. Can be taught passively by moving toward it until it stops. That's just taking the ball right at him. The dog talks, I establish my line, Call my play. Two, three. Good. Woo and take control of the game again. Good girl. All right, let's go. Shake the leash, make sure she knows she's tethered, and I'm going to move forward with the right hand box seal. 
uh, Dell Deshaun and Gerst when we first met. Good. And have a lot of reference to the handle. So here we go. Upper hand left, heel. So we're going to passive, and pivot, heel. Good. And we're going to turn. Go to the dog. She does. Her is she will try to do a split and determine initially who she's going to be with and hide good, good, good under her handler and then react to stimuli. Great pulls on the handler's body. So, what we're trying to do is we're trying to teach her the principles of motion from forward and to the right. We stay in motion and then she could. Passively correct herself. There. Good. Let's go, Katie May. Heel. And here we are in the first repetition. Still. Good. Move forward. We're target sounding. Good. I'm going to square to the line of the camera this time. Good, good, good. And I'm going to force the dog in the slot so as that it has to move through. No. Good. And maintain forward motion. Heel. Good girl. We're actually going outside of the normal rep, uh, revolutions of the basics. Good. Still in repetition one. Good. So we can overlay that phrase and get out of the rep. So we've got a correction ad nauseum until we get exactly what we want so as that we can reinforce it. Good job. All right. So from there, I've already got my correction in the first one. My anticipation is two and three would be flawless. You ready? Heel. Stepped off with the left. I kept moving. Good. Good. The challenges will be to add sound and things that are fearful for her. And the perimeter. Teach the dog to continue moving. On your cue. Heel. Without the split or going behind the camera. Good, good, good. And again, we know through the matrix. That's it. We know through the learning matrix that the dog is going to perform to flawlessly. Good girl. I'm going to rotate. Good. And then reward. Good job. My anticipation will be the same. We're establishing pack membership through motion. Good. We're not shying away from scary things. Good girl. That was perfect. What a good girl. And we do less repetition or less movement as the sweet baby go. goes through the stimuli and answers the question properly, which in, in this case is stay in the slot, keep moving, regardless of what scary things occur. Good, 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 good. Here we go. And so that's how you take these dogs that can be sensitive and shy and go in through and quote unquote rehabilitate but what we're actually doing is we're changing the condition responses good that they had elicited over time so i went right into classical conditioning good and then i'm going to finish her out so we teach pack membership through right turns good and here we are with exercise two we're going to call it a left hand box heel i'm in an at ease position dogs parallel left and we're just relaxing then, I'm going to move forward, heel, and I'm going to turn and pivot in front of the dog. Good. Good girl. That's what I do. Which is going to rank order. How of that. That's what you do. Start to frame the signal. Good. Show people go here. Good job. So it works consistent with or without tether. Good girl. We're going to complete a revolution. Again, this is how you desensitize a dog that is scared or fearful is through motion and variance. And upon stimuli, we receive correction. And then we have to figure out positive motivators for the dog. Good girl. In this case, is we're going to knock out our obedience. Good. Back to the stay and stay. I love it. Good job. She's all about efficient. Did somebody say work fast with the Frisbee? Good girl. Let's go again. So all I have to do at that point is start my power steering. I'm checking the dog's ears. And we'll move her straight toward the camera line. 
turn at the very last second so is that she can't decide to split it. Good. Good. Not only that, but she puts her butt exposed in a fearful position. But it works the same. So there's your correction. Cut off the left toe. A little bit here. Good. Let's go. All right. So, face it down. Pivot. I have to have an adult handler perform basically three repetitions, turning interior to the dog. Good. That's perfect. So where my stand is, is basically pivot inward and two points. High collar point up. That's good practice. And then forward with this closed hip. Good. Burden dogs are good at it. Here we are. We touch the flu. We give a target sound. Move forward. Good, good, good. Foot works the same. Regardless of the dog. Good, good. And whether it's on or off the tether. Good. Right. Let's go. Good job. Going to finish the dog out after one more revolution. We'll drive the corner deep. Making sure the shoulder keeps moving. Good, good, good. Overlay the trace when nothing scary happens. Let's go. Good. That's nice, my girl. Ooh, it works the same. And three. Beautiful. And that's what we do three repetitions a day before we go and get frisbee. All right. Let's go. They're going <coughs> to make us look good. Unbelievable. Is that even possible? Is that even possible? I know you. Can I ever tell you that? I do. I know you. You sure feel better, dude. Working hard. Working hard. Oh, she's all business. All business. I understand. So here we are, third basic exercise pre-frisbee. We're going to do friends leave heel. Con constitutes a send away and a recall. When I send her away, it's with the left side of the body. Ready? Friend. At that point. Hey there. Hi. Hey, good to meet you. She gets touched Thank you. from underneath. Thank I love you. it. Thank you. Thank you. And she gets the cookies. There we go. He's cognizant of yeah. lean. Which she does thank amazingly. Yeah, thank uh -huh. you. There uh -huh. you go. Then we we'll call her back away from yeah, Katie. You. Leave heel. That's my Katie May. My eyes are up. She does a one piece. Good. I'm going to rotate and reward the finish. Notice the hip and shoulders closed. Then we'll get to parallel. I'm going to do a send away. <clears throat> Katie May. Friend. This is how we socialize them, get them out of the boat. Hi there. Oh, you're so pretty. Nice About to ten meet you. On the, on the property. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, touch this thank wonderful you. head of hair. Go. Yeah. We all do this you're work. Trying to move in. And then we call them away. Katie May, leave it. Heal. So we have a dog that's very shy at first. Good, 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 good. Is making her way through this kennel staff. And she's getting confident and getting better to work every day. Good job. So the delineation is one and two, you stay with me on three. I'm gonna send you over, friend. Hi there. Hi, Katie. Hey. So is it I can practice my recall, and Thank I'm learning you. about peoples, Thank and we you. can actually do jumping, and look at that, she's no longer leaning on people. Very good. Yeah. And then look at that, this conditioned behavior, where the handler doesn't even have to tell the dog what to do. That's my right <laughs> That's there. perfect. I think she's ready to go play. Good job. All right, I'm going to reward. I'm going to shake it out with a release tone, and we're going to go have fun. All through. Good girl. That's my baby. Good job. Okay. All right, so we have Katie Maggie on the inside. We're going to work our fourth exercise. We're going to fuse something that she doesn't like to do, which is uh, get a hair brush. Get some real sensitive ears, and then we're going to work on place as well. So the first thing we'll do is actually apply a little bit of pressure on the dog per se. It is I'm going to apply the stimuli. I'm looking at the dog's shoulders. If there's any avoidance whatsoever, she tries to walk it off. I'm going to actually try to create a little bit of imbalance there. So she showed me about a second and a half. She was tired of doing this already. So a counter with just a little bit of accountability. Good. By looking at her uh, shoulder and her, she's so smart, her eyes are right here. So then, after I apply the pressure, I'm going to send her to the location say, Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness, what did you do? You're back, you're back through this evening. Go, go, go. I'm going to reward the dog and I'm going to take it through a couple of signals. Now she's very smart and she absolutely good. It's capable. Good, good, good. 
We just have to get orientated. So there we are. Oh, that orientation. Tone repetition one. So I fuse two things. I'm going to get a signal at this point. I'm going to rotate my shoulders into a seated position and on the back side. And note that her ears are framed in a submissive posture, yet her eyes are in a dominant position where they go above the handler sometimes. But I'm going to return to the dog. I'm going to frame the signal. And we'll be real sweet with a high tone. And we'll let her out of the area. Now I have a tether. I wouldn't allow her to recess toward her mommy if daddy was having or vice versa. We would have the lead on. We would finish our repetition because I've got two things that I want here. I want to be able to uh, basically condition this dog to more readily accept through a repetition pattern our grooming principles and apply things, these techniques that you may not want. And again, we're in our second repetition value now. And then I'm going to send her to her location area. And over time, what's going to happen is these two values in a row will flip just a little bit for a short period of time. Good, good. Until the skill set is the same for each. Good girl. Nice saturation. So again, it's signal, prior to your shoulders rounding with a backside signal. If you do that, you have less correction. You don't have to argue with the dog. My eyes are off of her using peripheral accountability to the shoulder. Good, good, good. I am prepared to correct her forward motion. Good. I repeat my signals when things occur. Good. And I always return to the dog, frame the release. And then again, I'm going to block her ability now, let her in. But if she was to walk behind, I would have actually corrected and impeded. Alright, so okay, cute. May, this way. I'm going to hold you. Good. I use that as a cue before touch. I'm going to hold you. Good. You're used to it. Good job. And then I'm going into those ears that she really does like. Again, she's going to walk away and create a balance on the first step. Oh my goodness. Get those pretty ears. Then, I'm going to send her good girl after the pressure. She's going to begin our condition behavior and be girl signal. Good girl. And then I'm going to reward her girl. I'm working a set of three before people come over so she can experience her correction and her positive reinforcers as well through our direction. Um, one of the things that we could do um, with, with a dog that's overtly food motivated, what she's in that medium range, just give a signal, do a what's see on the floor, correct the dog, and then redirect her back to you. Oh my goodness, now we've begun our, uh, our distraction piece of it. Good job, again. So I'm going to rinse and repeat one, same thing that just occurred, two, backside signal three. What this does is this gets the dog to start looking up at the handler instead of reflex action. So let's do that again and see if the dog looks. Here, there, there. Good girl. And then so I'm going to give a signal. I'm going to rotate and give a signal. And my anticipation is it's going to get back to the dog, fire the release, and beat her to the cookie and offer to it. Ready? Through Good girl. Good test night, eh? Good job with the touch on the backside. Good job. Ha. All right, let's move on, good girl.